Oh yeah, my amigos. Welcome back to the channel, kids. You guys are looking sharp. This is uh, the last video in the installment. I only recorded up to three holes, uh, up to hole number 12 on the backside. That's Diego right there. He probably had about 130 yards nice going in on his second shot. Oh, that's gonna be great if it doesn't go too far. Uh, this is a gettable hole. This is Renee's second shot right here. He probably has about 120 yards going in. And Andre maybe has 90. Uh, I went for the green. I could reach this green. Nice, uh, the green is downhill. Um, I landed green side just below the pin, which is an okay spot. I was trying to put it on, but I just didn't get it to the green. So I was saying that uh, this is the last installment in this series. And the reason being is that we got to a par five and it was just too tough. There was a five sub behind us that was catching up to us. It's a tough course. And so we were struggling a little bit and we didn't want to hold up the group behind us. That was Diego right there for birdie opportunity. Settle, 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 settle. Nice touch, goes a little bit long, which is ideal. You want to give it a shot, and here's his par. All right. Free speed. Oh! Dude, <laughs> went all the way around it. Uh, this is Renee for birdie here. Goes a little bit long. And let's see if Andy can capitalize on five bragging rights. And he does not. So that just leaves me. If I birdie this, I could win the hole. Pretty easy, right? Downhill. Right to left. Never gave it a shot. All right, that's a par. Let's keep going, mommy ghost. All right, so hole 11. Par four, 349 yards. This is the dog leg right. All right, Diego hits a pretty good shot right there. And uh, this fits my swing perfectly. I was just aiming at the tree, that, that fluffy tree on the left-hand side right in the middle, and then it faded. Put it in the middle. Um, Renee topped his a little bit. Uh, but still kept it in the middle, and then Andy went a little bit to the right-hand side off the fairway, but still in an okay spot. All right, so there's Andy right there. He's probably got about 220 in. Nice strike, Andy. Maybe 230. Oh, yeah. Hit a good shot, good shot. Left it a little bit short. And I had... That was 111 in... I had my 46 degree wedge and I left it just a little bit short. Diego went long on his second shot. And nice, uh, that was a great touch by him to bring it back, considering where he was out there. And here's uh, Renee, probably with his no third. Today, buddy. Goes a little bit long. No. There's Squirrely right there. Did you see her? Turn, 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 turn. All right, so Diego's in. I believe he had a bogey. <laughs> Look at Squirrely. I don't let her out of the cart very often. If she needs to go to the restroom, then I will. And so she just got out by herself. This is for Birdie right here. Look how good of a dog she is. She knows exactly what to do. She just stands there, waits for me to putt, and then moves after I putt. She just knows the rhythms of golf. She's been around it for her entire life, basically since she was a puppy. Okay, so there's Andre right there. That was probably for his par putt. He misses. And then Renee for his bogey putt, and he drains it. Very nice putt right there. All right, and Diego is in. And here's my par opportunity. Squirrely right there, trying to look for something to drink. I tell her to beat it. Okay, and here we go. This is the last hole. You can see me running right there because we were a little bit behind. There was a group waiting on us. Here's hole 12, par five, 509 yards. Diego goes a little bit off to the right-hand side, 
but it's a par five, so it's not a big issue. And then uh, this fits my swing also, my little fade. So I just went really low to the left-hand side towards the OB, and then it fades right into the middle of the fairway. Good shot. Where's that OB? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, here's Renee. And his went a little bit to the left-hand side. He plays a big fade. Andy hits a good shot. It's almost like it wants to Fade it off to the right-hand side. Okay, so ball's above my feet right here. I have my five wood. I probably have about 210 in, but ball is above my feet and I play a fade. So that contradicts my fade. And I ended up pulling it just a little bit. It straightened out. Everybody kind of blew up right here because there's a lot of obstacles, including myself. This is my third shot, but it's tough. I gotta get over this tree right here with my 60 degree wedge. Okay, and I put a, an okay swing on that, although I left it way yeah. far away Thanks, from Kenny. the pin. So I didn't get anybody else's shot. You can see their approach shot, because at this point we were scrambling to quickly get up to the green, just so that we wouldn't hold up the group behind us. Here's Diego right here. If you guys saw this a couple of days ago, I loaded it. This is a tough green. It's all the way in the back, and then you gotta get past that hump. And if it doesn't, it'll just come all the way back. And unfortunately for Diego, it did come back. But fortunately for us, it gave us both a line. That's Andy's uh, marker right there. And then I'm right behind Andy's mark. So we're going to get a line from Diego. Okay. So that was his first putt. Although he was off the green. So you don't consider it a putt. Here's his second attempt. Work. 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 Get up. Stay. No. And it didn't work out. <laughs> Just didn't get it up enough. Hey. Look at that mother. <laughs> <laughs> we had a, uh, this was fun. I mean, this puts a smile on my face to watch this. Hey, Steve. Just because, you know, it doesn't happen often and it's rough. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's his third attempt. That was the line, Diego. That was. That was the line. And this one he clobbers which is a good, good choice. Yeah, he just clobbered that. That's the right line right there. Ball goes from right to left. Okay, so good, he's up there. He's behind the, the pin. Okay, and then here's my birdie attempt. Okay, and I just follow, I went a little bit higher than Diego's and I hit it a little bit harder. That way it would just curl around the pin and give me an opportunity at par. And here's Andy right here. This is his birdie okay. attempt as well. He managed this hole well. Okay, so that was good. He went a little, a little bit lower than mine, but he went more direct at the pin. All right, and uh, Renee comes up. I'm not sure what Renee was shooting right there. I think he had lost a ball. He had gone into the uh, hazard. Okay, and here's Diego coming down now. Okay, and he ends up hitting it a little bit long, and it comes all the way back down. Oh, it's so frustrating and yet so funny at the same time. For everybody, even Diego was a good sport about it, because it is funny. Right. Okay, so he comes down now. What was that? His fourth putt? This is his fifth go. putt right here. No, that's coming back. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I felt it. I was like, I didn't hit hard enough. And that doesn't make it. So now he comes back. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with that. All right, and now he's just going to clobber this. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Hey. Stay. And there it is, stays up on top. It's All right, so Diego's in. Okay, that was a good par by Andy. Great par. And this is my par opportunity. I probably had about five feet. It was downhill. 
And that's in. And thanks so much for tuning in, my amigos. Uh, I'm not sure what Renee was shooting for right here, but thanks so much for tuning in, for watching these. Stay tuned because I probably have about five rounds of competition coming up that I have uh, recorded, but I need to edit them down. And uh, it's a lot of work, so just bear with me, but there's a lot of good competition that I'm gonna show you guys. Oh yeah, that's it.